Okay, so we need to set the valves on a, our LB7 here. Um, the valves get set, the valve lash gets set to 12 thou. When you're doing this, just turn the radio off, kick your buddies out of the shop, otherwise you're gonna forget something. It's best to be by yourself. Just, yeah, I don't need you judging me. We are in the middle of replacing our injectors. Uh, so while the injectors are out, um, it's good to turn it over nice and freely because there's no compression and just a ratchet in the alternator tightening bolt will allow you to turn it over. Uh, you can set this engine in two spots. When I say valves rocking, I mean that the intake and the exhaust are between the two strokes. You can see the intake going there. I'm turning the engine backwards so the intake will go up and the exhaust will go down. As soon as you see that exhaust moving, you know you're at top dead center. Even numbers are on the driver's side, the odd numbers are on the passenger side. If number four is rocking, then number one is on compression. The exhaust valve is the longer one and you can see that that ends up with the port on the exhaust manifold. The shorter one is the intake. I'll put the diagram down below, but when number one is on compression, you can set the intake and the exhaust valves on number one. We can also do the intake on number three and number five and the exhaust on number seven. And then we'll go over to number two and um, in that same spot, we can do the exhaust on number two and the exhaust on number eight and the intake on number six. Uh, that's the intake on number six. Then we'll rotate it 360 degrees until number uh, one is rocking. And then we'll know that number four is on compression. And then we are able to set the intake on number two, four, and eight, and the exhaust on number four and six. And then we can also set the um, exhaust on number three and number five and the intake on number seven. Um, hopefully that makes sense. We'll definitely put the diagram down below. It's good to have that. I pull it up on my phone and just kind of look at my phone um, and check it as we go. Now 12 thou, you want to have a little bit of drag on your feeler gauge. Um, uh, you don't want to be able to stick a 13 thou in there. And this, you see how this is nice and nice and tight and it drags. I've, I've set this one and it's nice and uh, perfect. Um, the number seven here, you can see how th loosely this just slides in there. This is probably 15, 16, 17 thou. And you don't want that. When you have too much clearance, it'll be a super noisy engine and it won't open the valves all the way. You won't notice that that much. Um, if it's been a really long time and your engine's tired and things are starting to wear in, like your valves are starting to get into your seats, then you'll start losing that clearance and your valves won't totally close and you'll have a massive drop in power. So you want to um, eliminate that. When the clearance is necessary, because they are not hydraulic valves, they are solid lifters, so there's nothing to take up the clearances as your engine components expand. So as your valves, your rockers, your push rods are all expanding. When they heat up, they expand and that clearance will disappear, which is why it's noisy when it's cold. And then as it warms up, that noise disappears. You definitely notice that because we're in Canada and it gets really cold outside. This is in the middle of our injector video. So we'll be, we're replacing the injectors on this and definitely check out how to reassemble your uh, valve covers, tap covers, and uh, put everything back on again, your proper torques and all that. And if you're ever in doubt, just videotape yourself. And then you can go back and look at the video so you can sleep at night. Hopefully this video helps. Subscribe if you like it. We've also got valve settings of four cylinders, three cylinders, and this is our eight. And there's a 16 cylinder outside. We'll be getting into that in a little bit too. <laughs> so everything all diesel and, well, and everything else too. So thanks for watching. Here we go.